Hi, my name is Sami and I'm the Head of Nursing for Children and Young People Services here at Kettering General Hospital. Um, I wanted to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to all the staff that have worked so hard and tirelessly and with such commitment um, over this COVID-19 pandemic. Without your work, your support, your dedication, your commitment and your resilience, we wouldn't be in this position uh, of being able to provide such outstanding care to the patients that we have seen every day. Um, so thank you. It's also an opportunity to say thank you to all the services that we've worked so closely with. So our estates team, um, our medical division, our surgical division um, and the corporate team. During this time we've learned how well we work together but also how dependent we are on your services um, to help us provide the best care. Not just to our patients but to our staff too. Without you this would have just been a different story to tell. So thank you. Hi, I'm Melanie, Head of Therapies. I would like to say thank you to Team Therapies who've been nothing but amazing over the last six months, supporting our patients and most importantly, supporting each other during our pandemic. I particularly want to highlight the work of our Therapies Respiratory Team who at short notice, mobilise staff to work double on calls, seven days a week, 24 seven, to support our most complex respiratory patients during this difficult time. You were nothing short of stunning. Team Therapies, you make me proud every single day. And over the last six months, it's been a true honour to be your line managers, manager and leader, and at times an honorary respiratory physiotherapist. You've taught me so much about secretions and all manner of things I never thought I would know. So thank you guys, you're fantastic. Go Team Therapies, I'm really proud. So in maternity services, we started this year on a real high. We presented our quality improvement programme through the Maternity and Neonatal Safety Champion Works at a national conference and we were proud. We were right up there on the wave and then a few weeks later, Corona hit. And, um, you know, from going right up there from a national ambition to being hit by this pandemic, it was a scary time. I want to thank all my teams for the way that they've come together as a team, Team Rockingham. So that includes our maternity team, our theatres, our radiology team that support um, obstetric ultrasound, all of our cleaners, our healthcare support workers, our neonatal team, our gynae nurses, who've really come together as Team Rockingham during this pandemic. There was a real sense of camaraderie right from the beginning. I remember that meeting that I called you all to and everyone attended, I was overwhelmed. So I want to thank everybody for really putting their delivery of care to women and babies right at the forefront of their minds and their hearts. I love the way that our gynae team have really merged with our midwifery team. We've learnt skills from our gynae nurses our mid and our gynae nurses have learnt skills from our midwives. Our doctors have been included throughout this every step of the way. We've undertaken virtual clinics. We've undertaken huge amount of patient experience. So Zoom calls with our, our service users, making sure we're still receiving that value feedback from our service users. Right back at the beginning of the pandemic, um, when people wanted to make sure that services were safe, everyone called together for skills drills to make sure that we were transferring and caring for women with the correct PPE and we had enough PPE. And I really also want to thank the Clinical Skills Lab for their help with that that was amazing in order to create a environment that was safe for gynae women and maternity women our medicine division supported us with the decant of their poplar ward um, and that was a huge decision for them to make um, during a pandemic when beds were so press precious to really release those beds back into the main bed uh, to maternity bed stock again pharmacy set we set up a ward area for maternity and gynae women within a day you know, our pharmacy colleagues supported us, our housekeeping colleagues supported us. Our midwives came in from home to clean, to put up curtains. Our housekeepers were amazing. Um, and that made sure that we could safely cohort uh, women who had either suspected of COVID or were COVID positive away from those women who weren't. I want to thank our sonographers and our midwife sonographers um, for being so responsive um, to the call for, from women to have their partners back at scans. You know, that was a really scary time to bring more people into the clinical environment, um, but recognising that that was an absolute need for women and their families. You guys came to the challenge and overrid it. It was a really scary time when we sent our shielders home. 
On the one hand, we were worried about the impact that that was going to have in the unit on staffing. On the other hand, we were really worried about our shielders and the health of our shielders. But every single one of our shielder went, shielders went home to shield, but also wanted to work. Um, you know, they were on the phone to us wanting to commit to our service. They delivered food to us. Um, Tia, your cakes were amazing. We still remember them. Right in the middle of the pandemic, we had and celebrated International Day of the Nurse and International Day of the Midwife. And that was a real success. I was really worried about how we were going to achieve that with social distancing. But again, the team overrode it. And the We Care team provided us with such amazing goodies. It felt like a real glorious day. We'd been working in the pandemic for a good few weeks then. Um, and it really felt like it was a real um, lovely way to say thank you for our midwives and our nurses and the way that they responded to the pandemic. I'd like to thank all of our midwives that were due to retire or due to leave the service and move on to new careers who decided to stay with us and support us during the pandemic. Your value and your contribution to the team will never be forgotten. We also said goodbye to some of our long-standing midwives who retired after many years during the pandemic. And I promise you, we will party one day. Hello, I'm Caroline Parks, Pathology Quality and Training Manager. I want to say a really big thank you to all the staff in pathology who have worked tirelessly to help support our patients and keep our services going throughout the pandemic. They've all worked extremely hard. They've coped with very difficult circumstances to keep everything going and also to implement COVID-19 swab testing and serology testing. It's not always obvious, but a lot goes on behind the scenes in the laboratory. I would like to especially thank the microbiology department, the mortuary and the phlebotomy team who have worked with patients on the wards and in our outpatient departments. So thank you to them all.